Welcome back to The Grind. In this video, we are going to talk about the Cavalier Event Quest Overseer Boss. Now, the nodes on here are Daunting, Taunting, and Taunter's Expertise. So every time you reach a bar of power, you're going to get a Taunt debuff. And if you let that expire, you're going to have that converted into a debuff that decreases your combat power rate. If you activate your special attack with the Taunt active, then it will have reduced attack but increased crit. And every time you have a non-damaging debuff on you, which Taunt is counted in the overseer, Overseer will get a Fury buff. And some of the abilities in the Overseer's kit, he has ability accuracy reduction, and if he prevents an ability because of that, he'll deal burst damage. He's also immune to staggers, nullifies, and fate seals, and he's, of course, immune to poison. And every time he throws a special attack, he will apply a concussion and debuff to the opponent, and that stacks up to seven times. You can remove them by reducing a combo of three or more to something less than that, and he also can inflict a taunt debuff with his heavy attack. In this fight, you'll also notice that you will have a heal block active on you, so it does make this fight more challenging with suicides on, and every time you parry, you'll get a disorient debuff. So disorient immune champions are handy, but not necessarily required as long as you remember that you have the disorient, which means your parries can fail. So we have a taunt on us now because we have a uh, bar of power. We did not throw our special attack, so now we have that debuff on us that is reducing our combat power rate. And if we throw a special attack with the taunt active it will prevent that from happening but now we stacked up two of those and with the overseer special attacks they're both pretty easy to evade and overall this fight is not too complicated if you can work around the disorient and the other component of his base kit which is the auto block after throwing a special attack so now he's thrown a special attack you can see he gets an auto block and it should parry but for some reason it's not doing that with nick fury and we're going to see it in other fights as well but during that time that he has the auto block active he's also stun immune now apocalypse is also a decent an option for this fight because he does go uh, disorient immune so you won't have to deal with that anymore after about eight seconds of being inflicted with one apocalypse is also just a solid champion overall i did mess up a couple times here um, but now we are immune to disorient and immune to the bleed from suicides and we're going in to attack now and once he throws off a special attack we're gonna see the auto block parry come into play now apocalypse if he's ramped up so if you bring the cable synergy or if you do another fight on the path he cannot be stunned while attacking into the opponent so he can actually counter the auto block component um, or the parry component of the auto block in this fight but here you see because he's not ramped up we get the auto block he parry stuns and then kills us now we're going to finish the fight off with dr doom and highlight the immunity to stagger effects now you see the heavy attack went off but he does not have a stagger on him because he's immune to them the overseer is better overall against mystic champions but you can still do this fight with basically any champion as long as as you are able to play around the disorients and those taunt debuffs as well as the auto block component after his special attacks but other than that he is a pretty straightforward fight with easy to evade special attacks if you bring champions that can counter auto block or go immune to disorient it will make the fight easier but again you can use any champion for this so let me know what champions you used i do hope this was a helpful video and i hope to see you in the next video